Good morning and welcome back to our Ask the Agronomist Facebook Live, uh, take two. We fell off the earth about halfway through the other one, so we apologize for those viewers that we lost, but um, we'll be back running through a similar thing and catch back up where we left off. Um, but how's it going today? It's going pretty good, yeah. Technology doesn't always, always work as well as we think, but yeah, I mean, we went out, uh, grabbed some plants this morning and, uh, you know, it's a little wetter this morning. It is. Yeah, uh, we, we and we can't talk too much because I know we've probably been more fortunate than other areas, but mm -hmm. we've only got about two to three inches in the last few days um, and, and other areas haven't been quite so fortunate. Yeah, yep. I mean, we got our weekly crop reports in yesterday and most of Iowa was, um, I don't know if I want to say flash flooding, but close to that, if not that. Yeah, so. a lot of areas of flash flooding and a lot of areas in the last two weeks that have gotten mm -hmm. six to ten plus right. inches of rain and uh, you know that's not not welcome uh, yeah. especially when the news channels are are flying over with drones and showing you flooded corn and stuff that yeah feel good. that's always fabulous yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we don't already know yeah um all right yeah well today we are going to be um talking about identifying the stage of corn when you can't get past the plants and we're just going to go through yeah. dissecting um, this one and then another one that Phil has already split for us. So yeah, I thought I thought this week would be a good time since mm -hmm. we we've already kind of hit the discussion on on hail and some of the injuries, ponding and stuff. So a good time to help guys when they're going out there making those assessments themselves right. to make sure they're staging it right, understand mm -hmm. how to how to scout it when they're in the field all season. Really, this is this is kind of at the point where it's hard to tell what vegetative stage it's at. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys are like, I don't know, you right? Know, so. So we're going to try and help you out with that, help you figure out those those staging methods All right. at this point. So when so. you can't count leaves anymore, how do you know what stage it's at? Yeah, so we're right kind of at that point, because right now if you count them, you see one kind of falling off here, mm -hmm. and let me blow that, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, you can see the leaf color on eight, and that's, that's not far off, uh, because you still can see that first one, but there's one below that. This mm -hmm. is around V8, V9. Okay trying to put on that ninth collar so um, you can you're almost at that point but right now is right about that transition where splitting the stem would really help and we have okay. one right over here on the table that we've split to kind of help show that and lay that out a little bit better so if you look at the the stem on this one that we split sometimes you can split these uh, easier than others having a sharp knife definitely helps um, but the first thing that you'll notice on this plant is where the seed is and I've kind of destroyed some of that seed it's also on uh, my other plant over here but you can see that 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 connection between the seedling root system and the main plant so once that seedling root system goes away we talked about several weeks ago um, you can see those nodal roots start to form so this one right here would be node number one so really the first five nodes are going to be bunched up especially mm -hmm. later in the season you're going to see the first five really just crammed together here and then you'll see a little bit of a space so you see one two three four and then this fifth one here it's hard to tell um, but there is a node there mm -hmm. um, that's going to eventually put down another set of nodal roots you can see them right there just trying to protrude um, out of that fifth one so um, that's if you follow it up the stem you can feel it but you can also see if you put the plant um, and this one's starting to get brown on me but you can see that's not my marker there that's just a, a darker green there that I'm highlighting that's that's another node formation so there's mm -hmm. one there there's one there um, if you come up the stem you can feel this one too there's another one right there so right. that's that's a good way to assess what you know how many nodes there are on mm -hmm. the plant um, and where we're sitting if you can't count the leaves. Just remember that around that, you know, when you get up taller here in the next few weeks, that 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 leaf, the bottom the bottom node there is gonna be about V5 coming out of the, the soil surface. That's a good place to start with your, your counting and, and leaf staging. Okay, um, let's identify the growing point then. Sure, so you can see, I kinda tore this one up a little bit. Unfortunately, I just broke him off. But that that's actually the tassel there laying on the table. So right around this V7, V8 time period is when that tassel begins to form. And obviously it doesn't look like a tassel. Right. In about another week or so, it's going to look a whole lot more like a tassel. But that thing was sitting right there, if you put it back in the plant, um, and you can see that, that V that everybody talks about right there. Mm -hmm. If you look at it closely, there's a, there's a V that comes up to that growing point, and that's where that tassel is sitting right at the top of that. So that's your growing point. You can tell it's above ground at this point. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of people ask, you know, 
uh, my fields are ponded and flooded, you know, what, what's right. going to happen, or, or if they get hailed on extremely uh, ba bad hail, um, if, if they get pounded back to the soil surface, mm -hmm. there's not much you're going to do about them right now where the growing point's at. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. Anything else you'd like to point out on here? So the other the other thing I'd say too, where we're sitting at that V eight V nine time period, we're, we're we're past the point of so all the leaves actually have been established. You're only mm -hmm. seeing eight, you know, maybe 10, 11 leaves on this plant, you know, uh, but but all the ones up until it's going to start uh, reproduction or tassel are, have already been established. So it's it's just really interesting how a corn plant d determines some of those things well in advance. Uh, of, of what you actually can see on the plant. So, you know, all that, all the leaves have been determined. Um, we've also determined essentially how many ears are on mm -hmm. the plant. That starts really when it starts coming out of the ground. Yeah. Um, so how many, how many leaves or how many ears are going to be, uh, where, it's gonna, where that main ear is going to be at on the plants is d being determined and how many ears are on the plant is, is already determined. So that's our number one yield factor. The, mm -hmm. the number two one is typically girth. So how many is around, how many it's how many kernels around it is and that is has also just been determined around that V7 time period. Okay. So really the only thing left to be determined and determined yield is is how many kernels long uh it the the ear is going to be. Mm -hmm. And that's going to that started to be uh determined but it's going to be determined well up until just about right before silking or R1. Mm -hmm. So we've still got that going for us and obviously there's stuff after it starts silking, you know. Uh, the the weight of the kernel and so forth that uh, that's going to be determined that you can tell mm -hmm. also will be a factor in the yield. Right. So okay, and then let's just talk about um, the rapid growth that's going to yeah, be going sure. on here. So too. so right now, if if you look at how a corn plant accumulates nutrients and mm -hmm. and when it requires the most, that's why we're going into the point where it needs that nitrogen, it needs all those right. those nutrients. This is right at the point where it's going to just skyrocket exponentially. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a period of rapid growth. It's going to go up. This is when we worry about things like green snap and so forth. Um, but it's really starting to take off. So hopefully you got that, you know, that nitrogen side dressed. Mm -hmm. This is a key time when it, it's going to start really using that and accumulating all the way up until just after uh, early reproduction where it starts to shut down and focus, mm -hmm. change, change gears and focus on the right. ear. Right, right. So. All right, sounds good. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? This nope. morning? Just uh, make sure you, you don't walk out like they say with cars. Don't walk out and, and water that you don't know how deep it is. Uh, but, <laughs> but no, it's, uh, you know, hopefully that the water um, recedes for most guys mm -hmm. um, and, and doesn't damage too much. But uh, obviously it's something we deal with every, every year and it's Mother Nature. Yep. Can't really can't change control it. it. It's there. Now we yep. get to deal with it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for the information this morning. You're welcome. And thank you for our viewers for tuning in. Have a good day.